Okay, this is the Academy Leadership Franchising, our franchise program. Uh, you know, what's our purpose, okay? Our purpose is, you know, we're changing the world by helping a million people become leaders of character. And that's what really what we're about, helping people become leaders of character, which will have a ripple effect that helps everyone become uh, better leaders around the world. Uh, we have a, these are our core values, which are our code of conduct. Not only do we have the values, we have defined them and we put behaviors with them. So all of our franchisees know the behaviors that go with the values, which is our core uh, code of conduct. And our business concept, the Academy Leadership develops the leadership materials, national branding, a website, national marketing and sales training and support, and the franchisees purchase materials and services from Academy Leadership. Basically, this is my analysis of the market, okay? Three segments, you know, the Fortune 1000, most of them have their own internal leadership university, so there's not much opportunity there, but our, our main, our core customers are in the mid-sized companies in the 125,000 employees. That's where we do most of our business. So who will you inspire, okay? Uh, we're seeking business leaders with military background, okay? That's one of, the, you have to be a veteran to be one of our franchisees. So we're looking for people with a military background that understand the uh, military leadership uh, ethos so that they can then be able to relay that to their uh, customers. So what can you do? You, you can make a difference. As I said, most of the people going through the program have not had any leadership training and, you know, they ask the question all the time, how come nobody told me this is what I should be doing, that this is what I should be knowing? And you become a part of an elite team and it's a very rewarding uh, program when you see people grow and become effective leaders. So military-based methods, deliver results, professional development, team of successful entrepreneurs. And what, what makes our programs different than other leadership programs? Ours are all application-based. So we don't ask people to tell us what Hertzberg's two-factor theory of motivation is. We want them to tell us, how are you gonna apply it to reach the goals of your organization? That's the, only, that's the only important answer. Not that you know what it is, how are you gonna apply it? So we train, our curriculum combines the service academies, leadership development programs, along with today's successful corporate philosophies. And we have open enrollment programs, two-day, three-day, four-day programs, in-house programs. We'll go to the company and do the programs at their locations. We have long-term leadership custom programs where we'll work with an organization over a long period of time. In fact, once we do an in-house program, the, the probability is, depending on the size of the company, that, that we'll be working with them for four, five, or six years, doing a couple long-term programs each year. Uh, we have assessments, workshops, we have virtual custom leadership programs that we can do virtually also. Uh, I'm just gonna go through these quickly. These are some of our brochures. This is the first course that we developed, which is our leadership boot camp, which is a three-day program, but that three-day program can be broken up into six half-day programs, okay? So it depends on what the customer's needs are, but as a open enrollment program, it's a three-day program, very intensive that people, you know, go away with a lot of information and they go away with an action plan of how they're gonna apply those skills to reaching their goals. We have a leadership foundations course. That's a two day course. That's for your supervisors. And our leadership excellence course. This is a three day course. This is our most popular course at the present time. Uh, as you can see over here on the left, you'll see one of our franchisees, Bill Blackburn. We customized the brochure on the back uh, cover we can put your picture, your contact information when you're having your open enrollment programs. So you can have a customized brochure for uh, any of the programs that you're presenting. We have a graduate leadership course. This is a follow-on course for people to go to the boot camp or the uh, leadership excellence course. We have a follow-on graduate program. And then we have an advanced leadership course for senior leaders. This is for senior leaders, a four-day program, which is at a much higher level for the senior uh, executive leaderships teams. Our lead to succeed is our trademark long-term program where we work with an organization over a period of normally 16, 18, or 20 weeks where we're working with them and developing their skills over uh, that period of time where we're meeting with them every other week, the team, we're meeting with the teams 
and the teams that we meet with are eight to 12 people. That's the optimum for those people to learn and share what they're learning so that they understand how they're going to apply those things in their, on their teams at the workplace. We have a leader's compass workshop. One of our, everybody that goes through all of our programs have to write their personal leadership philosophy. This comes from the Navy's Command Excellence Program. They started in 1982, where they wanted to know why the best ships were the best ships. And they found out that the, the number one determining factor was the commanding officer and how he articulated how he wanted his ship to operate, why, and explained that to his officers and crew. And since that time, uh, all commanding officers for the Navy have had to write their command, they call it command philosophy, uh, before they take command of a ship and share that with their crew. Uh, the other services uh, uh, also do that now too at the, at the uh, kernel level. We have a three-dimensional profile and we call it our energize the lead profile as to, it lets people know what energizes them and it shares with the team how the team is uh, wired such that you need diversity of profiles, okay? We hear a lot of diversity today, right? Well, uh, you, you can have uh, diversity, but if you don't have diversity of the profiles, that you're, you're gonna wind up with groupthink, okay? That's why you need diversity of profiles as well as other diversity. So why our programs? Uh, our programs are interactive. We're not, we're not lecturers, okay? We're not professors, we're, we're facilitators. They learn to apply the skills at their own workplace and facilitators reinforce success and help fix weaknesses and they work the tried and true. Uh, we published a number of books, uh, the Leader's Compass third edition. The Leader's Compass book is a, is a story about a gentleman that gets a leadership position without any leadership training. And he befriends his next door neighbor who's a retired Navy captain who walks him through the process of writing his personal leadership philosophy. So we call it the Leader's Compass, okay? It, it guides you and it's a communications tool so that you know, your boss knows, your peers know, and your direct reports know what's expected of them, what you can expect, what you're going to expect of them, what they can expect of you, and you know what are your primary uh, hot points uh, as far as what values are important to you. Uh, in addition to that, we made one for law enforcement, which is a similar story about a sergeant's first day on the job. And then we just finished one. Uh, my co-author is a West Point uh, graduate who is a chief medical officer at a hospital group. Uh, now he was a, he was also a surgeon in the in the army also, uh, and that's about a medical doctor uh, writing his personal leadership philosophy. I've written the book Corporate Compass. Corporate Compass is a is a book about a company going through the process of, of determining their purpose, their value, their vision, their mission, and their goals. And we help the leadership team go through that process so that they can have what we call focus and alignment. When you sit down with the, with the executive team and you ask them to pull out a piece of paper and ask them to write the top three goals of the organization, and when they don't match, you know you got a problem, right? So, and there's a lot of places that you go to there where there is not alignment on what the goals are. And without alignment, it's very difficult to accomplish what you want. Uh, Core Values Compass, another book that I wrote, uh, this is a book about why it's important to put behaviors with the values, okay? People think they understand the, the definition of a value, but they really understand is the behavior that demonstrates that they're modeling that particular value. And then accountability compass, I wrote that. That's really, how do you hold somebody accountable when they don't report to you? That's for the matrix organizations and for project managers, okay? Project managers have to deal with a, a group of people that don't report to them and how do they hold them accountable? So they're the books that we use. We use them in, the, in our programs also. So leaders can achieve results by what you see there. And this is sort of the military way of developing leaders. Our leadership development program, which is, this is our long-term program, our Leads to Succeed program. Uh, we normally start it with an energize the lead profile so people understand the, how the people are wired that are working with them on their team. And then we go over leadership skills. We have workbooks, modules, EPUBs, MP3 recordings of the, of the materials. 
And then we have follow-on coaching with a 360 coaching instrument. Potential modules, these are not all of our modules. These are potential modules that we have. As you can see here, uh, we have a, a good number of these, plus we have probably have another whole column of one. Excuse me. In fact, we just have, we're just finishing up a new one on inclusion, okay? And in fact, the inclusion is based on radical inclusion, uh, which is authored by uh, Martin Dempsey. So here's a typical program where it might be eight modules, which will go over 16 weeks, whereby you would meet with the team for nominally three and a half hour, half day, okay? And you would talk about the particular uh, skill. But the key here is how are they applying it out in the workplace? So they have to come prepared to share with their peers. Now, the people in these, these uh, groups, they all have to be peers. They don't have to be in the same division, but they do need to be peers. And they share how they're uh, applying the skills. So now you get a multiplication of learning because, you know, Sally will say, Jim, I have this particular problem. What should I do? And Jim says, uh, well, Dave, what do you think Sally should do? Okay, and then you get them to discuss what it is that needs to be done in order for them to implement that particular skill and get results for the goals that they're trying to accomplish. So it's a very powerful program because not only do they have to understand the skill, they have to know how to apply it, and they got to share that with their peers of how they're, share, how they're applying it in the workplace. So there's a lot of peer pressure on them out there uh, doing this in the workplace. Plus, you wind up with a common leadership language such that everybody knows that it's okay to talk about leadership. It's okay to discuss about leadership. It's also it's okay to discuss a particular skill, what you've tried, what worked, what didn't work, and how you can get better at it. So the program modules are selected if they're assessing the needs uh, and the goals of the organization. That's why it's important that the organization has agreement on what the goals are. Uh, but our franchisees, their job is to understand what the needs are. You can't go from, the, you can't go to the advanced course until you learn the basics, okay? So you gotta start with the basics even though they think they want the advanced course. Um, the materials provide conceptual understanding of the leadership uh, programs and techniques. They focus daily on applying them. The bi-weekly conferences, that's where they share their experiences. And that's where you get the multiplication of learning because, you know, Sally says she did it this way. And Dave says, I didn't even think of that. I think that would work for me too. And that's how people learn because we use the adult learning model so that they can conceptualize what it is that they're trying to implement out there. And then they can actually uh, try it out there in the field so they complete the adult learning model. Participant benefits, overachieve goals, enhance productivity, improve performance, personal growth. Uh, employees are, are really, they really want this, okay? In fact, when we start an in-house program like this with the, let's say the, um, the CIO and his direct reports, then everybody else in the division wants, wants to know when, when do we get to go? When do, you know, we all wanna go, we see how good it is, that's why we wanna go. Uh, people are really, uh, you know, they're, they're really motivated by an organization that's willing to invest in them, especially in the leadership field. Organizational benefits, uh, link goals. Uh, you know, not only is it the executive team that doesn't normally have alignment on their goals, but when you go down a couple levels in an organization, the, the people at the third level have no idea how what they do contributes to the organizational goals. Our process, uh, gives them a direct line for how what they do ties into the organizational goals because you know the executive team goal his actions his action steps they're his direct reports jobs okay and their action steps are their direct reports jobs so it all ties together so franchising are on your own okay brand recognition national marketing training support proven programs the requirements are leaders of character and competence with an outstanding military record. We want people that are passionate about helping people become better leaders. If you're passionate about that, you'll be successful. Financially secure to support a startup with no compensation for six months. That's true with any 
any franchise, uh, willing to develop some sales skills to enhance business development. Franchise fee, uh, a nominal franchise fee, $20,000. Basically the $20,000 covers your training, okay? Basically you go to a course or one of our three day programs, and then you go to a week's worth of training. So we, you, you, you put your initial fee up of $2,500 and go to the three day program. At the end of the three day program, you say, yep, this is what I signed up for. And you pay the balance of the 17.5 uh, and go through the franchise training. At the end of the three days, you say, I don't, I don't think this is what I want. That's fine. You're no, under no obligation. We, we want you to make sure you see it at, as to exactly what it is. And we just part company. Okay, you don't, you don't get your $2,500 back, but it's a $3,500 course, uh, but there's no further obligation. Only additional cost is for materials, which is $5,000. Franchise fees. Everybody wants to know what the franchise fees are. Okay. Uh, we don't take a percentage of your business. We just have a monthly royalty fee. In the first six months, there's no royalty fee. Then it's $500 a month for the next six months, a thousand a month for two, year two and three, and 1250 for year four and five. Uh, not onerous, okay? Uh, pretty reasonable. We do have a technology fee of $250 a month. The technology fee is for the sales force, for the C event for the Pardot, for uh, G Suite, all the things that we have to pay for by seat. Okay, so everybody participates in that, and the technology fee is two hundred fifty dollars a month. The ring knocker sponsorship. Pardon me. I said the ring knocker sponsorship. Yeah, right. Uh, referral fees. Uh, we we do a significant amount of advertising, but we don't charge you an advertising fee. Or market, we don't charge you a marketing fee. But if we give you a lead that our marketing brought in, then you do pay a referral fee. Okay, you pay it to Academy Leadership, or that's how we pay for our marketing. But you don't pay any referral fees unless you're getting revenue coming in. Okay, so you have you have to make a sale to to owe a referral fee. So your investment includes participation in the three day program three days of facilitation and program training, two days of sales training, focus and alignment. Kevin Haney will come and co-facilitate your first program. That includes all his travel expense and everything uh, to come and co-facilitate and certify you that you can deliver the program appropriately. You get a facilitator's handbook and note pages, which is the Bible of how we deliver our programs. We have a complete operations manual that tells you how to operate your franchise. We have a core story presentation PowerPoint. You get copies of all of our books and copies of all of our modules and MP3 recordings. Benefits, part of a world-class organization. And the big benefit is you help organizations develop their leaders and build your own business. Uh, it's very reward. Anytime you do any of these programs, it's very rewarding. Now, at the end of a three-day program, you know, you're tired, okay? It's, it's, it, it's, it's a good tired though because you've helped people become more effective leaders. Sales and marketing, uh, we've done a marketing analysis. Uh, we have a program for doing a grand opening leadership luncheon, which will help kick off your, your business. We, we want you to be uh, involved in your community and in, in some sort of service group, something like that. Uh, we have national lead development program. Salesforce is our CRM, Pardot is our marketing automation. And we already have produced TV commercials on targeted cable networks. If you have targeted cable networks in your particular marketplace, market area, uh, they're fairly inexpensive, okay? The, the, normally the big cost is the production. We have already done the production. Uh, we recognize our outstanding sales performers. We have our Admirals Club, the lead admiral for those that sell $500,000 or more. As you can see, the other down through Commodore, $100,000. We also have a Sales Olympics, our last Sales Olympics. Uh, we give a gold, silver, and bronze award. Uh, Jim Nalepa has 500, he had $527,000 worth of business. These are gross sales. Jim are those Hammer, annual numbers? This is for a year, yes. Cool. But, but you, have, you have to remember, this is a very high 
gross profit program, okay? Your, your gross profit margin is somewhere in the neighborhood of 75%, okay? So it, it can be a very profitable business. Uh, again, you, you do have to develop your clients, okay? And But once you get a client, man, you don't need a lot of clients. In fact, if you have a dozen clients, you'll be really busy and you won't have any problem doing a half a million dollars worth of business. So what's included in your turnkey package? These are the things that are included in your turnkey package. I'm not gonna read through them, you can see them there. But we, we, we have our trademark, the operations manual I talked about. 